Julia came to me and they were talking about uh, Van der Sar again. Uh, Van der Sar signing for Liverpool. And I remember in Austria, um, Julia came to me and said, um, yeah, don't, don't, don't believe the press. I'm not going to sign Van der Sar. He says, I think you are one of the, you are going to be one of the best goalkeepers in the world. I've got all the confidence. You're my number one. Um, but I do want to sign a goalkeeper. He says, the only thing I don't know is if I want a younger goalkeeper, because they were talking about Kirkland back mm -hmm. in the days then uh, from Coventry. Uh, he says, if I buy a young one, that will be the future number one. And uh, yeah, you play and then he can play the cup games and for the future. Um, or I will I will buy an experienced goalkeeper and, and you will uh, compete with him. Like uh, like now at Liverpool, for example, that mm. you bring each other to uh, to a higher level. And I was like, yeah, cool, okay, no problem. But then uh, obviously, yeah, well, everything happened. Uh, we played the two Super Cups. Um, I got man of the match in the Charity Shield against Man United. We won two one, so I felt really good and I was playing well, and everything was according to plan. And uh, then we have that famous uh, Bolton game uh, just before the game. Um, I found out that they were they were trying to sign Dudek, and I was starting not to worry, but I was thinking, well, that's not really the goalkeeper that 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 will compete with me because that's the the final number one and the Polish number one, and um, that's a really good goalkeeper. So if you buy one of them, he's not going to come to sit on the bench. So that will be really difficult for me to get, to keep him out. And then uh, that was just before the Bolton game, and I remember playing the Bolton game. And looking at the clock, and I think it was the 18th minute, and I, th I thought to myself, uh, there was a moment of a uh, where I I could think about myself. I was, it was a, I think it was a, a change or an injury or whatever. So I just, I remember thinking and 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 actually being pleased with myself with the performance. I just okay, I'm under pressure. There's a lot of uh, Dutch journalists and English journalists are asking questions. Mm. And I was pleased with my performance. I played well against Bolton. We were one-one, and I had a good game. Uh, until that last shot of the game, but which changed, uh, I think, everything. Do you feel that that was an excuse rather than a reason to let you go? I know for a fact that it was an excuse because I got the, the, the I got the piece of paper still where uh, Liverpool pulls out of the deal with Dudek. Uh, the the whole question was, or the whole story is, literally that uh, they went out to uh, to to get Dudek. They went to the Polish national team. They were on a training camp. The doctor of Liverpool is doing a medical test and they forgot about the blood test. So they come back and it was the last day of the transfer window. They already had, they weren't speaking terms with Kirkland for the future. Uh, so they knew, uh, the club were knew, knowing, they know about the interest. Uh, they knew that he wanted to come. But uh, then um, the doc says, "Well, I didn't do the bl blood test, so Liverpool pulled out of the deal because they didn't. They couldn't. They said, okay, then the deal is off.' Mm. And I, was, uh, I saw the fax where it said they, they Liverpool sent to Feyenoord, like, okay, we pull out of the deal. The deal is not going to be done because we can't do the medical test. The only problem for me was that they that a similar thing happened a year before with Arsenal. Um, Dudek signed for Arsenal, and then they pulled out in the last second." And the final says, I'm not going to do this again. We're not going to have a goalkeeper this season who's been uh, twice uh, tricked to get to play in the Premier League. So we, we've got a, a contract with you. We have an agreement, so you have to sign him. But in the meantime, they already got uh, Kirkland. So they got Kirkland. And I remember they signed Kirkland when I was in the national team. And everything in, around the press, you, like I said before, it was like, OK, a uh, future of Westerfeld and... I remember Overmars and Bergkamp coming to me and was like, ah, lucky you, eh? They bought the young one, like a, like a cynical. And I was like, Oof, yeah, no, thank God. So at least... Uh, and then a couple of hours later at night, uh, they, they, uh, they bought Dudek. And this and was I on know the final day? It was on the last day. So whatever happens, if they didn't have any confidence in me, uh, they could have or they should have said it before. So that, that, that shows you that wasn't the question because then... Uh, they could have sold me before, and I could have gone anywhere else. But now it was the last last day of the transfer window, and I was just stuck. And um, afterwards, I went to Oulier, and uh, of course, I asked him the question. I said, "What what happened?" And uh, yeah, he couldn't give me a reason. Otherwise, then yeah, I um, I think you make too many mistakes. 
And I, I said, well, which one you mean? I, I played 103 games, so we won five trophies now. I just got men of the match. Even uh, Alan Hansen from the BBC is is is, is uh, positive about me for the first time in the three years. So he said, what? He says, no, no. You, and I said, name the name the mistakes. He says, yeah, well, Chelsea own goal. I said, okay, we lost three 0 um, Millsborough, I said, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, Bolton now. I said, okay, there's three. I played 103 games, winning five trophies, getting better every 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 year. And then uh, he says, yeah, I need a goalkeeper who never makes mistakes. So then I said, okay, then then this 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 talk is over. I said, good luck. And uh, that was it. So prior to this, he was saying that you could be the best in the world. I think he he said that Schmeichel took some time to settle into yeah. to England as well. Yeah. And then uh, that's what he said in the press as well. And he said it to me. And then suddenly he, he changed his words. So that says enough that they made a mistake. I I even got apologies from, from Liverpool and uh, the way they handled it afterwards when they sold us. They said, this is not the way we handle players. And uh, I said, well, yeah, well, what can you say? I was out and um, it was just harsh. I think it was harsh because... Um, look at the chances do that game okay, uh, uh, got afterwards. Everybody's talking about the, the the Champions League final he played. He wasn't even supposed to play. He had a great first year. In the second year, he started making mistakes and Kirkland, Kirkland uh, took his place. Only because of the injuries of Kirkland, Dudek came back and then Kirkland came back again. And before the Champions League uh, final, Dudek came back again because of the injuries. So I'm, f I'm sure that if I would have been there still fighting for my place, I, w I would have been. Uh, I I had a chance to to get my uh, my my place back and but still be playing for Liverpool. Even when you were still there with them, there, you weren't part of any matchday squads. There was once there was a bit of an injury crisis, and they took what the fourth choice from the yeah. academy or something. Yeah, no, that was you. also one of the stupid things. Um, like I remember, Phil Thompson said something about uh, you were allowed to uh, to bring three goalkeepers to the Champions League games. Like I I got them into the Champions League. I felt like okay well, in the Charlton game. I played one of my best matches in the Charlton game, and I kept them in the team. I kept them in the game, and we ended up winning three 0 But um, I was praised for that by Phil Thompson, and now he says that I wasn't able to. I, I couldn't travel with the team, and they took a young goalkeeper as a third goalkeeper because they didn't want a problem with the press. They said, "Yeah, well, if you bring, uh, if we bring you, then it's all gonna be the press will write about it." And uh, I don't. They're all stupid, uh, stupid excuses. Basically, I was, I was a normal professional. I never I caused any problems until now. Nobody's ever, in in any autobiography, they can say whatever they want. But there's none of the players I ever played with is gonna say anything bad about me, uh, because it's not that I'm, I'm, I'm so good or whatever. Or so, so f I'm just. I, and, I'll just do whatever I I can, and uh, I'm never playing behind each uh, somebody's back or sticking a knife in others' back. I'm try to be respectful and a good professional, and uh, that's what I tried. But I never got a chance at Liverpool at the end.